All right, well, hello everybody and welcome back to the next video of the series. We are doing another unboxing today of the TCG Pokemon sets. And as I was strolling through a specific store, I had an idea as I came across them and I will show you them right here on screen. Boom, the triple Pokeball set that is completely randomized from what I understand. And today I really kind of just wanted to dive into it, see what we could get and maybe test our luck with some random packs. Now I believe Evolutions from the XY set and also Primal Clash I believe are something that is very popular and common in, in these balls. From what I understand, please let me know in the comment section down below if I got that wrong. We're just here to have some fun, so let's check this out real quick. Just to dive into it, why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, let's look at this. All right, so what comes inside these uh, little sets of three Pokeballs here? is a, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, the Pokeball includes three Pokemon TCG booster packs that are completely randomized, like I said, from what I know, let me know if I'm missing anything there. And one random Pokemon coin, which is for the game, I believe. Like I said in the last video, if you uh, watched all the way through, I mentioned something about me just being kind of a collector, <laughs> if you will, so I've always just been on that side of it today. But that is just one of the two packs I have ready to open today for you guys. So, without further ado, you know I have my scissors. Let's just jump right in, okay? <laughs> so right, right here, I think this is a solid approach. Just cut off the top. Don't worry, the balls don't need to be a PSA 10. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we move on, we move on. This seems a little bit easier than the first video, if you had watched that, to open, which is awesome because it makes it a little easier for the progress of the video. So what I'm gonna do to save time is I'm just gonna pull these out of here. We got what it looks like a great ball, your standard Pokeball. A nice little quick ball from the new sea. I don't know if they were in Sun and Moon or not, but I think they might have been introduced in the Sword and Shield set. But please let me know, or games, whatever you wanna say. Uh, first three, here we go. I think we should probably go with Pokeball. I'm feeling the Pokeball, okay? Here we go. First things first. I gotta kinda do a little adjusting here to make room. I kinda push these back a little bit just to make sure there's enough room for us to get messy and dirty right here. <laughs> All right, there we go. The saran wrap is coming off. Sorry if that is super loud in the microphone. I don't mean for it to be, but nice little R here. We left a little bit of the, <laughs> the wrap on there. Little dent right there from the packaging, probably the manufacturing, I don't know. But anyways, like I said, the balls don't need to be PSA 10, so let's just keep moving, right? Beautiful artwork, your standard little Pokeball, and out comes the three packs. They are randomized, and we have a little bit of a, I believe that's a dread, no, what, the, what a Pokemon is that? Please let me know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But anyways, we move on. Let's uh, get everything clean here, out of the way, and we will dive into the first three packs of this first Pokeball, which is your standard Pokeball. We have an Evolutions pack, a Base Sun and Moon Booster pack, and a Burning Shadows subset, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. But um, there we go, we'll keep the packs there, and we'll just jump right into some Sun and Moon. What I typically like to do is keep the Evolutions for last because there are some really awesome pulls that we could get out of those. And nevertheless, I'm just excited to get into them. I just think that's kind of the most healthy way to go about it. So if you guys are okay with that, we will do it that way. There's the code. Let's get right into it. So I believe Sun and Moon are also four. Let's just see if we can get some GXs. All right, ready, here we go. Um, I will say fire for the energy. Okay, steel, all right. Raticate, Daytrix, Datrix, how do you say that? <laughs> Anyways, Sandy Gast, a little Caterpie, Scamboree, Chin Chow, Chin Chin Chow, I don't know how to say that. Cutie Fly. Ooh, look at that. Back to back evolutions, but with the reverse holographic. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And then, oh, first pack open on the video. We get a pull. Cue the music. Boom! Gum Chush. What the heck? <laughs> I must have skipped this area of sun, area and set of Sun and Moon because I do not remember this Pokemon. But nevertheless, an epic pull. Let's get the price check somewhere on the screen. All right, not too shabby. The centering is actually okay for what I've seen from the other Sun and Moon pack. Oh, it's a little bit off right there from left to right on top. Whatever you want to say. But that is a nice pull, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> 
Anyways, we move on, okay? We have two more Pokeballs to go, and we need to keep moving. So anyways, we will do the Burning Shadows booster pack right now, and hopefully we can also get some GX luck out of the packs. Ugh, super excited about this. All right, there is the code. We move on. So anyways, guys, I if you were here for the last video, I did actually do some research, and as I was editing, I noticed a couple things that I could, what is this? <gasps> no, I think we did it wrong, no. <laughs> anyways, let's just hurry through this one. We got the Electric and a Rare right there, the Heracross. Did I get three? Am I, I'm messing up right now, big time, guys. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, that is very nice. We like to see that, and that was okay, actually, because it was cool to move on. Let's go a little faster and kind of get through these balls, because we do still have two more after this and another set. So, if you're having as much fun as I'm having, though, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> Come on, evolutions. Don't do me like this. Ah! Okay, there we go, there we go. Got it open. Don't check the card. There is no energy to be pulled at the beginning, but here is the code. Boom. We will go one, two, three, and hopefully this evolution pack treats us nice. A Re nice reverse holographic wouldn't be too bad. A nice holographic rare card wouldn't be too bad either. We would appreciate any of that. Obviously there is a, believe a Mega Charizard EX in the XY evolution set, so that would be pretty awesome. But anyways, let's get into it. No energy, starting off with the trainer. The double energy, that is pretty cool. Colorless energy. We have the Charmeleon, the Diglett, the Ghastly, the Caterpie, the Drowsy. Oh, that is an awesome Magikarp art. Check that out, guys. That is super nice. I, I've always had the love and appreciation for the OG classics. The Voltorb Reverse Holographic. And please give us the luck. An Arcanine Rare. Darn. Okay, well, we can still appreciate that and uh, get behind the awesome art. That is to be. All right, so for the first ball, there's a nice fresh pull that we got. That is pretty awesome. I like the art. I like the art a lot, if I do say so myself. But we'll continue on to the great ball. Let's open this bad boy up. For time purposes, we will speed through this if I can actually get this dang thing off. I'm sorry for the noise. I know that wrap is probably not the best, but here is the nice great ball. It is looking nice in its glory. How do you get this thing open? Help me out here. There we go. The three packs of basic sun and moon. We have a nice little Raichu coin if I can get it out. <laughs> nice little Raichu coin. I really like that glass. It kind of looks like broken glass effect or something. I really like that. That's nice. A nice little touch. I can dig it. Okay, anyways, let's get these out of the way and we'll keep it moving. All right, we have our three packs here. We have another Burning Shadows, another Sun and Moon, and an Evolution. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Start off with the Sun and Moon again, and hopefully we get some of that GX luck, baby. All right, that's what we want to see. Oh my gosh, I'm having the hardest time opening this. Come on. Oh my gosh, finally, there we go. Okay, okay. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Get this out of my way. <laughs> we have cards to open, okay? We don't have time for this. All right, there's the code for y'all. Here we go, one, two, three, four for the sun and moon. Let's get some sweet arts here, okay? Flip it over, I say water. Oh, the fairy in sun and moon. I totally spaced that. I forgot that was actually in the set of sun and moon. But we're learning as we go, right guys? That is the point of the channel and that is why I'm so excited to be doing this as we come up on the reverse holographic Caterpie, which is actually something I kind of want to keep. I like this little holographic big leaf art there. And then, oh, oh okay, thank God. I, <laughs> as I choked that, hopefully it wasn't something uh, super rare. So I'm, I'm happy that we butchered that one out of all the other ones. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on to the Burning Shadows for time's sake. That was so much easier than the last pack. Uh, all right. Here we go. There's the code. Bam! For you guys. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. All right. To get into the next pack, I say we go with leaf or grass, whatever you want to call it. Another fairy back to back. Wow. I was not expecting that one. Wow. First card in, we see that beautiful Charmeleon. I'm gonna keep that art, actually. That is actually really, really cool. I can really appreciate that. We'll set that off to the side there. But, guys, I wanted to say on a side note, as we come up on a nice Meowth, 
that Charmander, beautiful. Costco has some actually really good deals. If I, I don't know if you guys ever live close or local to one, uh, but if you do end up stopping by there one day with your parents or on your own, on your own lonesome, <laughs> I would check it out because I got these uh, Pokeballs for a really sweet deal and it was like kind of four free packs if you did the math. So that's what I recommend. Go to Costco and check that out. That was really cool. Anyways. Let's see, ready? The reverse holographic mud brain, boom! A holographic Zygarde. That is actually a really cool art. Check out that nice glittery touch to it. I will keep that, that is a sweet card right there. All right, moving on to the last evolutions of the Pokeball. I am kind of excited for this one. I'm feeling some weird energy coming from this, guys. It's gonna be a good one. It's going to have something good. I can tell, I can just tell. One, two, three. No energy, just the trainer, I believe. Yes, a nice Professor Oak. Who remembers that? What a nostalgic card right there. As we move on, ah, here we go. Star you, Onyx, the fairy energy from XY Evolutions. Wow, okay, we can dig that. Tangle of the, another reverse holographic Caterpie, but much more sleek, much more smooth of the reverse holo, which I can appreciate. And then the very last card, ladies and gentlemen, a holographic Polyrath. No way, that is so nice. Holy crap, we gotta look for the swirl. There is one on the holo foil. Ah, oh, man, regardless, that is such a beautiful looking card. I will absolutely keep that as one of the pulls. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's more of the rare <laughs> cards from the Evolution set. I can absolutely get behind that, so let's do it, guys. Not bad, not bad at all. And last but not least, we got to speed through this and get through this last ball here. <sighs> if I can get the ball open, it would be very nice. Come on. Ah, don't be a little girl. Come on, Ike Pulse. Ah, uh, you know what? I can do better than this. All right, there we go. <laughs> Look at that coin, guys. That is really, really neat. I like that a lot. Wow. Okay, cool. I can hang with that coming out of the quick ball. We got another sun and moon, a burning shadows, and a primal clash instead of the evolutions. That is the first of the video and one we can really appreciate. So, oh, sorry about the noise, guys. I got to throw it in the box for time's sake. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much, but... Let's check it out. We got the Sun and Moon. Beautiful pack art, by the way. Oh, wow. Way easier to open than most of the packs that we've had today. <laughs> I swear, for some reason, when I'm doing these videos, I struggle so much. Maybe because there's so much to focus on, but, you know, we move on, we move on. All right, four, I believe, for the Sun and Moon. I'm going to say Fairy, since we've seen so many of them today. Darn it. <laughs> we got the Steel. As we get the Great Ball, the Team Skull Grunts. Whoa, beautiful second evolution, I believe, of the starter in Sun and Moon. Maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below if you know any different. We got that nice classic Zubat from the original 151, I believe. The reverse holographic big Mala, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Forgive me guys, but anyways, here we go. Can we get the luck? Ugh. No, the Decidui non-holographic. It was worth a shot, right? It was worth a shot. The Sun and Moon obviously has some beautiful arts. We can appreciate the set. So regardless of what we pull, if we don't, we can still be appreciative because we love the art. We love the nostalgic feeling of pulling these cards and just being able to do it, man. I feel so blessed to actually start a hobby like this, like I was saying in the last video. I feel like I kind of lost touch of kind of talking about myself and I kind of felt bad about it. So I wanted to kind of take the moment in this video to go a little bit more in depth of kind of who I am, where I come from. That Rylu art is so cool. As we come into the reverse holographic Pikachu, that is very, very nice. But sidebar, get, get back on track, guy. Come on, we can do this. Okay, so as we get into the last card, I just want to take a moment to, to kind of double repeat myself again and again and again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I am from Arizona. I've always had a passion for Pokemon. Um, I just recently got back into the actual collector side of it. I grew up playing the games. I love everything about the culture and kind of the, I guess you could say community, right? Let's, let's put it that way, right? <laughs> But I grew up in Arizona my entire life. I'm still out here to this day. I am currently actually a barber. I cut hair for a living. So if you guys are ever in Arizona and you need to hit me up for a haircut, that's what I currently do. So I'm really excited about that. And I grew up a nerd, like I said, playing video games more than just the Pokemon. 
I would play a lot of uh, Skyrim growing up, if you guys have ever heard of that title. A lot of Halo growing up, which was a very popular exclusive for the Xbox. Uh, PlayStation, you know, the, the, the basic stuff, the Call of Duties, the, just the nerdy games that <laughs> I would like to say back then were nerdy. A lot more accepted these days, which is awesome because I love the gaming community just as well as I like the Pokemon community, but we move on. So that is just a little bit more of a touch and a little bit more uh, from my heart, from me to you, kind of the backstory of who I am and where I come from. So anyways, let's move back into the video as we reach the 17, 18 minute mark <laughs> to the last Pokemon with, from the story. Here we go, ready? Boom, a non-holographic Heracross rare. Okay, we can appreciate it, we can appreciate it. That holographic Pikachu was absolutely cool though. I think we can all like that art. All right, moving on to the last pack. We have the Primal Clash from XY. I'm actually really excited about this. Believe it or not, I have never even opened a Primal Clash, let alone pulled anything from it. So maybe we can get some good luck here. If I can open the freaking pack. Come on, Isaac. You're better than this. You're better than this. All right. There is the code for you guys. Get that out of here. One, two, three for Primal Clash, I think, maybe. Water? No, I don't know if I did it right. Whoa! Is that the rare? What the heck? Did I do that all wrong? I don't I don't even know, but that is a really, really cool Torchic. The first evolution of one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. A Blaziken. Whoa! Guys, this is so cool. I've never seen like a I don't even know what to call it, a full art uh, basic card? I don't <laughs> I don't know, but check that out. That is absolutely awesome, and I will be keeping that. It, is it... Wait, what? Did I make a slip-up? Is every card from Primal Clash like this? Or am I getting lucky? No, there's not. What? Are these like... Guys, please, in the comments, if you're watching this and know anything about the game or, or the Pokemon card collecting game or whatever you want to call it, if you know anything about what just happened, please let me know because I guess I'm just uneducated in that realm. Oh, man. I need to do my research. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, back to the basic looking cards, okay? I don't... <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't make fun of me. Anyways, the Nidoran female. We have the Tangela. Beautiful art, by the way. Check out how realistic that looks. Nice. The Slugma, that is a classic right there. Like I said, there we go. That is the basic looking form <laughs> of the Torchic. I'm not exactly sure what the heck's going on. We have the Bidoof ho Reverse Holographic, actually. It's a beautiful card, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he's one of the cute, cuter Pokemons that I've ever seen, and I believe he was first seen in Diamond and Pearl, actually. Wow, what a nostalgic Pokemon that is. Okay, but aside from all of that, let's dial in and check out this last card and hopefully we can get some last card magic from the three Pokeballs. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? Boom! Nice! No way! A Sharpedo EX! Check that out! That is the coolest art I've seen in a long time, guys. Wow! I'm actually like scooting back in my chair. I'm getting so excited about that. The centering looks a little bit off from right to left, but other than that, I mean, even top to bottom, darn it. But I cannot be mad at that. As a collector's item and somebody who just loves the collecting part of it anyways, is, it, this, is a, this is a great card to have. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna really consider those other two as I, I wouldn't say like, I guess, polls, quote unquote, but Nevertheless, that was really fun, I'm not gonna lie. All right, but with this second box that I have here, we're just gonna have to speed through it as fast as we can. For time's sake, I wanna make sure you guys can watch the video in its entirety without feeling like you're being overwhelmed with me talking and mumbling on so much. So, with that being said, let's just dive right into it and steal these balls out of here. Uh, uh. All right, there we go. Okay, one and done, let's take these out. Uh, we gotta get moving. You're gonna see I pull sweating a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh, because we gotta move. So, I think the best way to go about this right now, if I can get this off, the best way to go about it is to just basically take all the packs out, put the balls away, we'll save the coins for later, and I can show those at a later time. But, like I said, for time's sake, we gotta get moving, ladies and gentlemen. We got packs to open. Here we go, we have a pile of packs here. 
It is looking absolutely juicy and I can just feel, I can feel in the cards that we have some pulls coming up here. So let's just dive right in. We're getting this started with a sun and moon pack, a little bit easier to open. Let's get these cards out of here. Bam, there is the code for you guys. And we gotta speed through these, here we go. Four, bam, dark, professor, Corsola, Rappel, Fem, Feman, <laughs> I'm butchering the names, okay? We have a Growlithe, that is an awesome Pokemon, the Marini, the Reverse Holographic Drowsy, and an Incineroar, one of my favorite Pokemon as well for the non-holographic to finish the pack. Not gonna lie, that was an awesome pack. I really enjoyed the art. Let's just move into the Burning Shadows. But yes, guys, I do apologize for kind of doing a speed run. I'm trying to make sure that the videos are more time efficient for you guys so you're not feeling like you're being overwhelmed with the content and it being so long. We have a, this, uh, boom, Soul Rock, Sandy Gas, Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Drupider, whatever the, <laughs> I'm going too fast. There we go, the Burning Shadows, Reverse Holographic Charmander, which I will also be keeping. And for the last card, a Tangle Worth Rare. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's just jump into the second Burning Shadows out of the three, I believe, that are in here. I see three evolutions, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Maybe I should try to be more organized. There's the code, we're moving. One, two, three, four, I think. I hope I got that right. Yes, Fire Energy, Wobbuffet, Gloom, Duskull, Morlul, Caterpie, Marill, Rhyhorn, the Reverse Holographic, Wimpod, and for the last part, uh, the last card, here we go. Oh, the Mudsdale, the, the Mud Horse, if you will. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's finish up. There's two more packs, actually, before we get into the last. Wait, what the heck? Am I getting confused here? I sure am, aren't I? <laughs> Another Burning Shadows for the final one of the last three Pokeballs. I'm really excited to get into this, actually. I think we got one, if I do remember correctly, we got one nice pull from the Burning Shadows set so far in this video. But, one, two, three, four, we move on. Ready? Boom! The Fighting Energy, the awesome Charmeleon, the Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, Morlul, Sandgast, Venipod, Venipede, the Horsey, Mudbray, the Reverse Holographic Trader card. Not too bad. Ready for the last card? Here we go! Oh, the Non Holographic Nasty, which is actually kind of a cool card. We haven't seen many of those in the video yet. So, I can appreciate it. We can uh, keep it going, keep it going. We have the last two Sun and Moon packs here. The pack art is actually really nice on those, like I said before. And I hope you guys are enjoying as we show the code there. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the content as much as I am enjoying making it. Here we go, ready? We got a, I wanna say, Grass. Fairy, oh my gosh, we've seen so many of those today. Ah, we have the Grimer, the Sparrow, beautiful art. The Pharaoh, okay. Can I get a pull of the Crobat Reverse Holographic? Actually looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Check that out. And, oh, a Cloyster. This is actually my friend's favorite Pokemon. I'm actually gonna keep this for him because uh, my goal on the channel, like I, like I said in the description of the last video, a lot of the duplicates and cards that I'm not really the biggest fans of, I wanna be giving away to you guys. So if that is important to you and is something you can Get behind or, you know, be on the lookout to sign up for it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but that's the plan for the channel and I really hope you guys can get behind it. Nevertheless, here we go. Boom, we have the code there. One, two, three, four. Moving on, moving on. I would say dark this time. Water, dark. <laughs> We're gonna have another video where I can never guess the energy. Look, as we come on that crazy EVR, that looks really cool actually, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, not bad, not bad. Cool art there. The Meowth, the Alolan Meowth, the Reverse Holographic Potion for the Trainer card. And the very last card of the pack of the Sun and Moons before we get into the evolutions is a Sharpedo, not the EX, but a Holographic to finish it off. Not too bad. I think we can appreciate that, right? Bam, all right. Now, we have three more, ironically, we got every single one of the final evolutions of the starters in this art pack of the evolutions that we opened from three different Pokeballs. Did they do that on purpose? I don't know, but well, let's check it out. Let's check it out together. Here we go. 
We're gonna start off with the Venusaur because I don't think this one is as sought after as its uh, counterparts, but who knows, there might be something really nice in this pack. And that's why we're gonna start it off first. So let's do it. Ready guys, here's the code, boom. We're gonna go one, two, three, bam. A flying Pikachu, look at that. I do not actually have this card yet. I like that a lot. Wow, look at him up there with his little balloons like he's from that one movie. Uh, put it on the screen, I can't. <laughs> I can't remember it right now. I think we're, everything's just happening too fast. We're moving, we're moving right along. But anyways, I'm gonna keep that card for my own personal collection. We have the Haunter, the Terrainer, the Energy, the Growlithe, the Machop as we come up to the Voltorb, the Diglett, the Reverse Holographic Raichu. Look at this thing, man. I have never actually seen this from an Evolutions pack. Hopefully, we can follow it up with something really cool. Ready? For the final card from Evolutions, Eradicate non-holographic from Evolutions. We can really take a moment actually and appreciate this Raichu reverse holographic. I'm not even sure of the value of this card. I could probably put it up on the screen somewhere as well. Just a friendly reminder to myself. <laughs> but I really, really like the hollow foil kind of reverse holographic pattern on these cars from the Evolution set. I think it looks so sleek, so nice, and so bright and shiny, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. But not too bad, let's keep it moving though, as we appreciate that card. We will move on to the Blastoise from Evolutions pack art. That is pretty nice. He's looking all big and beastly with that man cannon on the back of his shell. Ugh. Here we go. Man, I can never open these packs. I'm the worst at it, guys. I'm so sorry, bear with me. There's the art. As we move into the second of the last three packs, we go three, and here we go, the trainer. The trainer again. The Charmeleon, Tangela, Poliwag, Seal, Magikarp, I love that. Energy. Oh, a reverse holographic nine tails, guys. Look at that. I believe right now at the time of this recording, I don't know whether it's from Evolutions or not, but the PSA 9 and 10s of these will go up and fluctuate from like a $10 difference from a 9 being I believe $20, like a $19.99 card, and then the 10 being upwards of 30. So not a bad pull out of the last two packs of the Evolutions. And then let's get right into the last card. I am so excited about this. Boom, the Arcanine non-holographic. Will we keep getting lucky with these reverse hollows? That is an absolutely beautiful card. I love it. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into the very last pack, and I don't know if this is a sign, but we have a Mega Charizard on the front of the final Evolutions pack here as we move on to the 30 minute mark in the video. Uh, let's get it open and get it finished so we can see if we got any last pack luck for you guys in this video today. Here we go. Boom, there's the code. One, two, three. Boom in the front, and to finish it off, here we go. Bam, the Machoke, the Trainer card, Caterpie, an Energy, a Lightning Energy. Magikarp, Seal, Poliwag, oh, look at that. That was just what I was saying before. I can really, really enjoy a nice, smooth surface holographic. And for the final card, a Mewtwo. Not too bad, not too bad. Put the price up on the screen. That is a very, very nice card. Not holographic, but we can still, still enjoy a nice, fresh, clean, smooth card with a beautiful, looks like beautiful centering. I'm not gonna lie, check this out, guys. We got that nice from top to bottom, from left to right. I think it looks pretty good. Let's check out the back there. Not bad, not bad. It looks like there's a little bit of whitening up on this corner, but we like that, we move on. All right, guys, that was a little bit of a crazy video, but I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it today. I was trying to do a little bit of research from the video before this. I just really enjoy opening the cards and doing all that stuff, but I tried my best and I'm trying my best to make awesome content for you guys. So if you enjoyed it today, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna support the channel and keep up with the content we are gonna be making. I post every Tuesday and Thursday, but with that being said, guys, it's been Ike Pulls here. I cannot wait to see you guys in the future videos ahead. I will see you guys later. Peace out.